Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric here, and this is CR Wrestling Commentary. I'll be reviewing Friday Night Smackdown that took place August 30th, and it and it's coming from, from Germany. And this, I enjoyed this. Um, it was shot mainly from the hard camera, actually only from the hard camera, and it was, uh, no, there was no commentary. It was only an hour. So because it was short, I did a little bit more. They they introduced the ring announcer and they introduced uh, the German commentary team. Then Michael Cole came down, but there was, I guess, audio issues or hard camera never picks it up. I'm not sure which, but I I like this. It almost it reminded me of when I would go to wrestling shows. I would always try to get the uh, corner seat or right there, like middle of the apron area. So ring post or apron and if i could uh second uh second tier like balcony or whatnot that's you know that right there balcony on the corner perfect seats every time it doesn't matter the angle it don't matter either corner second right there at the top you you good so this began with a tag team match and there was only three matches yeah three matches so I took a little more notes than I normally would. So it was A Town Down Under versus Street Profits. And I guess because they're in Germany, they just uh, got uh, the same music. Everyone's gonna have the same music or whatnot. But and as a result, there was no commentary and shot from one side. I enjoyed this opening match. It was a standard match with good uh, back and forth with the tide turning only a few times as it, as it needed to. So they did good with that. This was a really standard, really good match. Um, they didn't get this stuff in, but they did what they needed to do. I, I like seeing that because you don't see everything. And then you kind of wonder what can they do? You know, what else can they do? Then they pop something out later and stuff like that, even though we have seen all that they can do. But it's nice to see when they just pull it back and just say, we're not doing everything, just enough. And the fans were really into this and solidly against the heels. They did not like A-Town Down Under. But Street Profits, they won. Doomsday Blockbuster and then a pinfall. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. I was thinking that going on the current possible storyline that maybe uh, Austin Theory might be getting a few cheers or whatnot. But no, they were telling you suck. You suck. And I'm like, wow. This crowd did something later that I haven't seen in ages. All right. I'm going to get to it, though. Uh, then we get Damian Priest coming out and he's going against Dominic Mysterio and I'm like okay Dominic has all the heat on the planet and Dominic he is mixing Eddie Guerrero Uncle Eddie with Father Ray so it's I'm like I can see it I don't know if anyone else can but I'm I'm like I want to like Dominic in terms of the pro wrestler, what he's doing and trying to accomplish and whatnot. But I, this match, it, it stunned me because I was like, okay, this seems more like a PLE premium live event match than what they're showing here. You know, it's just, you know, it's, it's the one sided. It, it's not produced or anything like that. And still they're using it. You know, I'm like, you know, still they're, they're using it as a setup because I know it's supposed to be some kind of mixed match or something like that at uh, Bash at Berlin. And I'm like, okay, I, maybe. And then I was like, you know, and, I'm, and I had to wonder if they're going to have the classic inconclusive ending because you're going into a match, you, you should have, you know, both opponents kind of looking strong. Whew. Sorry, everyone. I just, I'm sick. My daughter went got me sick she hates me she just hates me so i was stunned i'm like damn it was a squash match priest looked good out there and dominic sold so well it looked believable and oh oh she didn't came down the hall she's looking at me now you want to be on the mic with everybody that's right going down the hall going back going back and i wrote uh and and dominic he it looked so believable 
I would like to think Dominic was higher up in the company's eyes than this. Maybe they have something in mind later on with him. See, she didn't came behind me and just hit my chair. She know I'm going to get her back later. You know, I got my own ways. I can't do what I want to do. Still recovering from back surgery, having a kidney removed, and she got me sick, and she's bullying me. I'm, I'm going to get her back. I'm going to get her back. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. It's, it's going to happen. Ain't nothing pre-planned here like every other company. Though. I can do it on the fly. So next we get the World Heavyweight Championship match, and it's Ilya Dragunov versus Gunter or Walter. Should his name be Walter von Gunter? I don't know. I don't know. I think that sounds pretty nice. Um... Ilya evaded the chops early on, which was nice. Kept trying to slam Gunther, even doing the, the back fall spot. So I, I like that. They, they, they did that stuff. I'm going to tell you this before I go further in. I, I really enjoyed Gunther's entrance from the hard camera. He was walking out. I was like, that's a damn champion. I, I was like, that, that's a damn champion. You ain't going to tell me that's not a champion. I, I, I enjoyed that. I was like, wow, this guy... He could fit in any era of pro wrestling. Um, Ilya eventually slams Gunter during a, a wave from the fans. I haven't seen the wave in ages. The fans were doing the wave. Because at first I was like, no, I thought the audio was off. I was like, why are they going, hey, hey. I was like, what is going on? And I look up and I'm like, whoa, they're doing the wave. I, wow. I'm like, Man, if the crowd can be into it like this, you know, uh, uh, at their main event, uh, I mean, Leon Franz might have some competition. They, they, they doing the wave. Y'all just jumped up and down. You know, jumped up and down don't take coordination. Y'all, y'all rank is in trouble. So, Draganov takes over, even hitting a few rolling German suplexes. And then he got thrown to the ropes. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but Draganov did the Tiger Fank kick into the rope, spinning into an attempted lariat. But he gave Gunther so much time. He just Gunther just locked in the sleeper and scissor a lot. That he just he had a year to think about it. Draganov retook control, missing a dive, allowing Gunther to hit a drop kick and diving splash for a two count. Gunther takes control and seeing and it seemed elementary as he kind of played with his food and I was kind of and I've seen this before and I was like I think this is going to keep going a little bit and then Draganov he gave a good hope spot Guta shuts him down for a moment and they trying to do the you know power bomb counter going back and forth um this allows Draganov to take a little bit of control after um reversing it he gained a little bit of control hit a missile drop kick for a two count and I'm like they're, they're, they're presenting Ilya Draganov pretty pretty well. And it didn't take long. Gunter makes that a short-lived moment and he hits the high angle power bomb, got the one, two, three. And I thought Gunther would be a little more uh, cheered a little bit more. That's what I thought. But that, that he wasn't. And I get it, he is a heel. But when they go to more or less close to their home nation and whatnot they get a little they get a little boost so i think this was a feel out match just see where they are cheering who and what um but then after the match and i i was like okay you don't get a chance to see this because normally smackdown would just be over and you can and they made it she made the announcement that that concludes smackdown everyone be safe and stuff like that it was all good um and that you will see you at the pay-per-view or PLE. But after the match, the ref had a hard time reviving Draganov. And then Draganov eventually stands up in the ring and to a, a good round of applause. They were cheering him, clapping and everything. And he started boasting a little bit, blowing kisses. Still slightly selling the power bomb, not knowing exactly how to sell it. Uh, but honestly, the way he left and the fans were behind him, I, hey, Gunther, he, he won the match, this this battle, but I think Ilya won the war. That's what I think. 
And to me, it was it was a happy ending, you know, from from a viewer, you know, watching it like this and not being there, you know. So that that's going to conclude w w my review, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, so this this is going to do it. So this has been Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary Friday Night Smackdown ish, and they were coming from Germany, and I'm gonna have to watch that. Ev the 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 primary event afterwards and with that whew, I want y'all to be cool be chill be safe so I can see you next time